Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough of the 2018 OCR MEI new specification A-Level Maths paper 3 which is pure mathematics and comprehension. So, each question is in its own video. You can get to the playlist uh, from the description and they'll pin it as the top comment. Also, in the description are the paper 2 and paper 1 walkthroughs as well as the website to get the papers and my A-level content. Okay, if you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome, let's go. In question 8, 8 marks all together, parametric equations, two parts. 5 and 3. So, a curve has equation, parametric equations, x is t over 1 at t cubed, y is t squared over 1 at t cubed, where t is not equal to minus 1. Part 1, we must show detailed working. Uh, Determine the gradient of the curve at the point where t is 1. Okay, so the gradient of the curve is dy over dx, which is dy by dt times dt over dx. So, we need to find dy by dx and dx. I'm uh, sorry, dy by dt and dx by dt. So, let's do x first of all. Okay, so x is t over 1 add t cubed. Now we can use the quotient rule for this which we are given here so when you have u over v dy by dx is v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v squared okay so for us u is t du by dt is equal to 1 v is 1 add t cubed and tv by dt is 3t squared. So, dx by dt then is equal to, so it's v du by dt so that's 1 add t cubed times 1 so that's 1 add t cubed minus u tv by dt so that's minus t times 3t squared so that's minus 3t cubed And then that's all over uh, v squared, so 1 add t cubed squared. Okay, so that gives us, so up on top, we got 1 add t cubed minus 3t cubed. That's going to give us 1. Uh, minus 2t cubed all over uh, 1 add t cubed squared. Now that isn't really looking very nice. Remember that we are trying to find the gradient of the curve when t is equal to 1. So we can just work out the value of dx by dt when t is 1. 
So when t is 1, dx by dt is equal to 2, so up on top we get 1 minus 2, which is minus 1, over 2 squared. So that's going to give us minus a quarter. Cool. Okay. So, let's not lose that bit. Okay, so now we need to do the exact same for y. So y is t squared over 1 and t cubed. So y is t squared for 1 and t cubed. So u is t squared. The u by the t is 2t. V is 1 add t cubed. Dv by the t is 3t squared. So dy by dt is equal to, never remember which way around, so v du dt, so that's uh, 1 add t cubed times 2t, so that's going to be 2t add 2t to the power of 4. Uh, so that's 2t add 2t to the power of 4 minus u dv by dt. So that's minus, we got t squared times 3t squared. So that's minus 3t to the 4. And that is all over. Uh, 1 add t cubed squared. Now the top simplifies 2. So we got 2t add 2t to the power of 4 minus 3t to the power of 4. So we got 2t minus uh, t to the power of 4 all over 1 add t cubed squared. Now when t is 1, dy by dt is equal to, uh, well on top we got 2 minus 1, which is 1 on the bottom, we've got 2 squared, so that's a quarter, so this time it's positive, a quarter. So, remember that, we now know, when, when t is 1, dx by dt is minus 4, sorry, minus a quarter, and dy by dt is positive a quarter. Now, dy by dx, uh, when t is equal to 1, is then it's dy by dx, uh, sorry, dy by dt, so 1 quarter, times dt over dx. So dt over dx is minus 4 over 1. So it's quarter times minus 4 over 1. That gives us minus 1. All of that work for that. Cool. Okay then part 2 for 3 marks wants us to verify that the Cartesian 
uh, equation of the curve is x cubed and y cubed is equal to x, y. Okay, so x cubed is t over 1 add t cubed all cubed which is t cubed over 1 cat t cubed cubed lovely y cubed is well it's going to be t squared cubed so that's t to the power 6 over 1 add t cubed cubed Okay, sure. X cubed and Y cubed is T cubed over 1 add T cubed cubed <laughs> add T to the power 6 over 1 add T cubed cubed. Now that is t cubed add t to the power 6 over 1 add t cubed cubed Okay, so the top has a common factor of t cubed so we can say this is t cubed times uh, 1 add t cubed, so that's quite nice, over 1 add t cubed cubed. I need to stop saying t cubed cubed. Okay, so there's now a common factor on the top of 1 add t cubed. So we can divide one lot of that away. So we get t cubed over 1 add t cubed squared. Now then, that we can split up into t over 1 add t cubed times t squared over 1 add t cubed which is equal to x times y therefore x cubed and y cubed is indeed x y We've proven it, it's pretty chicken, QED, quite enough, done, boom.